Hello Cancer, this is your mid-September 2019 reading and remember it will not resonate with all Cancer individuals. But I'm asking for new energies and hopefully positive energies to come in for Cancer from starting mid-September 2019. Sun, Moon and Rising, Cancer, Full Celtic Cross and new energies coming in for Cancer mid-September 2019. Like I said, I always hope for a positive reading. Sometimes that don't happen, but we try to work things out, you know. Find a solution. Try to. I don't like leaving people hanging. And there's always a solution, usually. The lovers in reverse. You having trouble with a lover or lovers or partnerships? Hmm? Maybe you're feeling like, you know, something's wrong in your relationships or, like I said, partnerships. You're not going to hold back. You're going to let someone know what you're thinking, possibly, about a stable situation that you thought was stable. Or someone may do this with you, with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. It also could be for some of you, someone may be spending too much money and the other partner gets a little aggravated, possibly. Possibly. Not necessarily, but possibly. What's crossing it? Uh, Seven of Cups, confusion, too much going on, making bad choices, the wrong choices or not wise choices with the Seven of Cups crossing it. What crowns you? You may lose a little bit of independence, money, gain with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So this is a warning. If it hasn't happened to you yet, Cancer, or you know the people around you, that someone may be overspending, more or less. Or it could be other things. Um, I will start clarifying, and it is known to change the story up, so stick with me. Foundation, the Hermit. Got that for, who did I get that for? Gemini? I got that for Gemini, too. But it was a... Um, is someone who's thinking intensely, thinking maybe I don't have enough money now to do anything with the hermit in the upright. Maybe I gotta stay home. Maybe I gotta think about my next move. How am I gonna come up with some finances or some stability or some um, independence? In the past, some of you may be dealing with a, a fire sign. Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but not necessarily. Maybe someone had a lot of passion for something. Maybe they wanted to, you know, get out there and have some fun. But usually the King of Rides is um, someone usually a little older. They're attractive in their own way. Mature also. They can be very mature. But this person just really likes to um, put their energy out there. Maybe actually um, take on a project of some sort with some vigor, you know. In the very near future, you got the Ace of Cups in reverse. You're unable to give someone a new emotional start or something they love. Or maybe you feel like you can't do this. Or you, maybe someone hasn't done this with you. I'm really thinking it has to do with some confused situation that has to do with finances. And someone's thinking, how am I going to overcome this? And it's not that you can't overcome this because you can. we got to figure out what's going on so you can overcome it. Possible future outcome and advice from the universe is to overcome sorrow and heartbreak that may be out there for you. Um, maybe some of you are overindulging with like finances, like I said, to compensate for broken hearts or sor sorrowful situations or, or feeling like you have to replace whatever is void in your heart with um, other things. What is coming towards you, the outside environment, beyond your control, someone that feels they did not get a victory with you, with the Six of Wands. Or maybe there wasn't a victory to be had with the outside environment. We will find out what that is. Your hopes and fears, you're trying to turn your fortune around. You're trying to regain some of your luck that you lost or some of the finances. And it's also, I call it a manifestation card because when you, you, when you tap into your hopes and fears and your positive thinking, sometimes the outcome can be changed to your favor, whatever it is. So you're, tr you're wanting your wheel of fortune to go in your favor. You're wanting positive things to roll in your favor. Finances, relationships, it don't matter. In the end, you do come out of stagnation with the hangman in reverse. You do find, in a way, maybe a situation to deal with this. Ah, there goes my tablecloth. 
Now, let's go back to the beginning and find out why something happened with your finances, with confusion, overspending, stability is off. Maybe you thought you had some finances to do something. You wanted to go into something really great and passionate, and what happens? You don't have enough money, so you're trying to figure out what you can do to make it work. So, four of pentacles in reverse, seven of cups crossing it. Why are you there for cancer? As a subject in hand. The world card coming, you know, full circle and moving on to the next cycle in life. That's what you're wanting to do. But you're having trouble accomplishing it for some reason. It also could be that you have to answer for old, you know, spending too much. So, the four of pentacles in reverse. The World card, Seven of Cups, why are you there for cancer as a subject at hand? Justice. And you think of maybe, gosh, life is just isn't fair to me with the Justice card in reverse because maybe a bill collector would come knocking on your door or somebody else would come knocking on your door and they come across kind of like unfair for you. You're like, wait a minute, I thought we had this all cleared up. And they're like, nope. You know, and so you have to maybe shell out some money. I'm just telling you that, you know. So some of you, uh, this is a warning to watch what you spend because, you know, um, the bill collector may come knocking on your door and, and repo in your car, you know, if you're not careful. So I don't know why I said that. It must be pertaining to somebody. Now, what crowns you is that you're just not getting enough gain. You're not getting enough independence with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So the Nine of Pentacles in reverse while you're there for cancer. And you do come out of that in the end. Yeah, and you're stuck in your thoughts about how am I going to get out of this situation when it comes to finances and stability. So Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the devil in the upright while you're there for cancer is what crowns them or the goal. I think it's what crowns you. You're trying to figure out how to get out of the situation. Because you're wanting to go out and have some fun. Um, in some ways, enjoy life for once. You're wanting what you're wanting. And you're wanting to have that energy to do so. But it seems like you're trying to figure out how to do it. For some of you, you'll be dealing with a fire sign. Now, the foundation is the hermit card. And you're thinking, how am I going to do this? How am I going to, you know, get some more extra cash? You do think about it in the end. I think you overcome it somewhat. But you do have to um, deal with the justice card and someone think, coming to, towards you saying, guess what, you know, this, is, this isn't going to work with this uh, money situation. So you're going to think about it. Let's see what, how, if you're going to figure something out. The hermit card in the upright as a foundation. Why are you there for cancer? The lovers. Yeah, you're wanting maybe to enjoy yourself with a lover situation. And you're trying to figure out maybe you're going to try to also some of you um, thinking maybe a lover could help you out in some way, but not necessarily. So the hermit in the upright, the lovers in the upright, why are you there as a foundation? I think some of you want to. Yeah, coming out of betrayal, coming out of um, things not working out with the Ten of Swords in reverse. Thinking someone did you dirty. I don't think it's the lover. I'm thinking it has to do with... Well, it could be the lover. Maybe they spent too much. But I don't think it's... Um, I don't think it's a third party or anything like that. I'm just thinking somebody might have messed somebody over. You may think that. But someone's overspending. I can tell you that right now. Now, in the past, you got the King of Rods. Like I said, it could be a fire sign. It could be, um, like I said, someone more chore. They're really usually good looking, you know, the King of Rods. So in the past, they're there. Why are you there? King of Rods for cancer in the past. And you're trying to figure out what to do with them, or maybe you were, you were trying to figure out what to do with them with the Nine of Wands in reverse. But it's like every time you try to figure out what to do next, it just kind of like... People want to put it aside and say, let's just enjoy each other. You know, let's enjoy the situation. Let's not worry about what, what comes next, you know. Let's not worry about money. We'll let that worry about itself, which is probably not a good idea. So the King of Rods in the upright, Nine of Wands in reverse while you're there for Cancer in the past. 
Yeah, Queen of Swords. Some of you could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, or someone who's going to tell you uh, straight to the point what's up. And it could be because you're not working on something. Or it could be, like I said, maybe these you have you maybe there is two, more than one person, you know, not working on something or getting all muck, but something causes a bit of a discussion and argument in some way about money. Someone feels like they've been, you know, I don't have enough, so I can't do this with you now with the Ace of Cups. I can't go on this new trip. I can't go out to dinner and a date with you. I can't, you know, do my hair and nails right now. So Ace of Cups in reverse. Why are you there for cancer in the very near future? Yeah, and you're wanting to move forward, you know, possibly with a, uh, a water sign. Or it could be you, you know, as a water sign. But I see as somebody wanting to do this, they're wanting to have nice things, they're wanting to offer love and friendships and just, you know, a good omen in itself. But like I said, things are tight right now for some of you. So Ace of Cups in reverse, Knight of Cups um, in the upright. Why are you there for cancer in the very near future? I'm thinking some of you may just go ahead and do it anyway, even though the money's not there. Because I don't see you cutting out of anything. I'm, you know, even though you're having trouble offering this and saying, I don't think I can afford this, you may go forward with it. You may go forward with it, even though you may should cut something out. Or it could be like vice versa. But I do see someone him hauling around, should I spend more than I got? Because, you know, the creditor's at the door. You know, the wolf is at the door. Now, you're just trying to come out of heartbreak and sorrow and enjoy your life for once with the Three of Swords. And it could be that the universe says to come out of sorrow. I don't know. I need another card. So Three of Swords in reverse while you're there for Cancer. It's a possible future outcome and advice from the universe. You could be that you're coming out of this sorrowful situation or heartbreak. Yeah, you're coming out of disappointment with the Five of Cups in reverse. So Three of Swords, Five of Cups in reverse. Why are you there for cancer? It's a possible future outcome or advice from the universe. Yeah, drop drop it. Oh, wow. I can't believe the universe is telling you this. Don't, don't worry about your heartbreaking situations right now. Come at a disappointment and drop the subject for the time being. It could be exactly that's what you'll do because that's a possible future outcome if you decide to do it. Just I'm just going to ignore the situation and, and drop it because I want to I just want to have a little bit of fun. The outside environment, someone feels that they're not getting a victory with you. So let's find out what it is. So Six of Wands in reverse while you're there for Cancer. I'm thinking it's going to get pretty hairy with finances. Why are you there? Cancer may say, yeah. Someone is uh, staying up nights thinking about you, what you're doing, their anxiety. They're thinking, what are you doing? Why, why are you doing this? And they're trying to talk to you in some way. And you may be like not listening. So, Six of Wands in reverse, Nine of Swords in the upright for the outside environment beyond Cancer's control. Ace of Cups, and they're saying, there's the Ace of Cups again, you know, from over here. So, it very well could be that they're not going to offer you anything because they're upset because they didn't get their way in a situation. It could be, like I said, the wolf at the door, the creditor, or someone you're involved with. But you're wanting to do something, you're wanting to have fun. And you're not wanting to cut out things or or have a discussion on it with the Ace of Swords in reverse. You're not wanting to hear about it right now. Or like I said, vice versa. Maybe some of you are dealing with another possible water sign that was overspending. I do see that. Um, which it could be either or. And someone's going to have to deal with the situation. But I don't see you worrying about it in the end or it like over, you know controlling your life in any way. Now your hopes and fears and possible manifestations is the wheel of fortune in the upright. And that's maybe your luck changing. Maybe you're wanting your luck to change. Maybe you're going to manifest this in some way. So the wheel of fortune in the upright for cancer. Why are you there? And the hopes and fears and manifestations. Why are you there? Temperance, you're trying to come. You're, yeah, you're trying to come out of an unbalanced situation, and you don't want to work on on anything right now. But you feel like 
things may be a little out of control and you're trying to, you know, tr turn your fur your luck around. So Wheel of Fortune in the Upright Temperance in Reverse while you're there for Cancer and Hopes and Fears and Manifestations. King of Swords. And you're kind of like afraid you may irritate somebody or I'm seeing that now. You're wanting your luck to change because you don't want to irritate anybody around you. You're wanting your finances to change and maybe you're hoping for this because you really don't want to irritate or cause someone to go out of balance. Could be the King of Swords in reverse. Could be an air sign for some of you. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Or someone just really sharp words and they may say, what are you doing? You know, and cause an imbalance. But you're wanting your luck to change. You're trying to move things forward. And maybe you do because you got the hangman in reverse. You're not going to be stagnant. You're not going to be staying home. I'm just telling you that right now. So the hangman in reverse while you're there for cancer as the final outcome the moon in reverse yeah you're going to let someone know about something you're not going to hide what you're thinking with the moon you may have at one time tried to put it under wraps and not tell somebody what you were going to do and now you're going to tell somebody guess what i may be going out of town i may be spending a little bit more money or someone may be doing this with you telling you this so it does come out in the rain it comes out in the wash what is going on and someone says hey let's enjoy ourselves let's come out of disappointment we'll drop this for now with the two of pentacles and we'll just live life to the fullness fullest even though we may not be full in the banking account so the hangman in reverse the moon in reverse while you're there for cancer in the very end why are you there in the very end let's see if you get some more money and somebody charges forward and they get going on what, what they're wanting to do they're they're charging forward so you're not wanting to you know be stagnant before you were the foundation, but in the end you come out of it and say, guess what, I'm going to do this, I'm doing it now. And someone on the outside is saying, no we're not, no we're not, no we're not. And you're saying, oh the situation will change, it'll get better. But the banking account says no. In the end you may eventually put an end to the whole situation. Now whether or not you transform into something else, I don't know. You may put an end to whatever you were going to do and plan because of the money situation. Because things got confusing with the Seven of Swords and someone maybe finds out about it and cuts you off or you cut them off with the Seven of Swords and you put it to a dead halt. Yeah. So, I hate readings like this because no one likes them. I'm going to start giving love readings, but with a different deck. It's not, I'm not going to use this deck. But this is saying that there's going to be a little battle over money of you wanting to do something and not having enough or someone around you that you have joint finances wants to do something and there's not enough. And someone may say, I'm going to do it anyway. And someone else says, no, you don't. Someone may find out that's what you're doing, that you're making not all the right decisions with the Seven of Cups. And they see that you're maybe... Um, sneaking off to get your nails done or you sneak they're sneaking off to get their you know whatever and someone puts a halt to it because there's just not the money there because someone is disappointed and someone is worried about whether you're spending money or too much situ you know too much and you may think for some of you you'll think that someone else is out there spending too much money maybe on you know their car or whatever or, you know accessories whatever they're into so that is your reading and i'm gonna let this go remember it's all about money it's coming to a meeting of the minds of you know being you know straightforward with each other because in the end it's someone's going to put a stop to it anyway and say no we can't do this and that is your reading and i probably will do a love reading stardom i got to get my cards out for that a lot of you like the love readings, and it's just for love readings. So I'm going to let this go, and it could carry on to next month, but I hope not. I hope you get everything together. I'm sure you will. And like I said, I may do a love reading for everybody as the extra, you know, bonus card readings. You know, get something else besides finances, but this is what that is. This is what it is, finances. And the creditor is at the door. Bye.